Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's class. Three fundamental ways to increase your life force energy. If you enjoy these videos and would like me to produce more, please consider making a token of appreciation on the link below. Life force energy is the energy that you have to live, the energy that you feel within you to continue on striving and to be ambitious and to have goals and to be goal driven and to just want to be more, to do more, to become more. That is your life force energy. That's the energy that you feel. The energy that makes you, that puts you in a continuation to want to improve your life, you see? And there are many different ways where you can lose that energy in this environment. But in this video, I'm going to talk about three ways to increase that energy. Number one, you know exactly what it is, baby. You know what I'm going to say. And that's semen retention. We all know it. Practicing the form, any form of um, abstinence from um, daily or habitual masturbation or the release of seminal fluids is one of the greatest ways to improve or increase your life force energy because of the fact that you're simply not expelling it. Okay? And as I have said and as you have Many of you don't even know, but a lot of what the guys that you consider to be athletes or uh, entertainers or a lot of these guys that are artistic in that sense, uh, even guys which you may see as, uh, you know, guys with uh, prestige and power or whatever the case is, a lot of these guys practice a form of um, semen retention or a form of um, abstinence. A lot of your religious or um, people that you have looked up to in terms of religion and stuff like that, your gurus and stuff like that, and your your uh, your saviors. A lot of these people have practiced a sense of seminal or sexual discipline in order to reach a higher level of their being. It's very simple. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna talk complicated for you. I talk like a baby so you can understand me because it's very simple. Okay. I don't want to talk all complicated. It's, it's it's easy because if you practice that, you just feel better. Don't you feel better? Don't you feel like you can face more things in your life? Don't you feel like more connected? Don't you feel like you can, you don't have, you're not so, so timid? Don't you just feel more empowered? It's, it's very easy. Uh, don't you feel depressed and don't you feel miserable? Don't you feel a lack of drive when, when you keep doing that? It's, it's, it's something that you don't need the doctor or anybody to tell you it's good. You don't. Because remember, there was a time in, in, in history where doctors used to tell you that cigarette smoking and the continuation of putting fumes inside of your system was 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 no problem remember remember when they used to uh, make a lot of advertisements for um you know smoking and such you notice they really lowered down on that because there was a time when these people actually believed it was a good thing some reason for some reason or another but anyhow practicing that type of semen or sexual discipline is one of the highest forms of building your life force energy wanting to be more okay that's one of the highest forms and we all know that man we all know that especially wise men united talking about this man we all know that all right number two you've got to eat live foods you've got to eat foods that are alive that have vibration in them you eat for energy you you, you extract the life force again you extract the life force from the foods that you eat. Why is it that when you eat a food, it comes out, right? It's going to come out. So what, what are you eating? Why are you eating? You're eating to extract the life that was in it. And then the rest come out because your body don't need nothing else but the life. The essential life from the foods, the minerals, the vitamins, the nutrients, the life itself is all that the body needs. And after that, it could... Get rid of the calories. Get rid of uh, the junk. I don't. I don't need it. Why? Why does it come right out? Right? Because it, your body only needs the life from it. So eat foods that are full of life. I'm talking about your fruits. I'm talking about your vegetables. I'm talking about your nuts, your seeds. Limit foods that are cooked. Limit eating cooked foods because cooked foods again are just that cooked. 
So when you heat foods up to a certain degree, they lose nutrients, okay? They lose life force. And you don't want to eat foods that don't have life force. Why? Because it makes you not have life force. Do you understand? When you eat food, you know sometimes you eat food and you get tired. Why should you be eating food that's supposed to be giving you energy but it's making you tired? It's making you tired simply because it doesn't have life in it. Does that make sense to you? When you eat junk food, you eat processed foods, it makes you tired and grumpy and just... Right? Because it doesn't have life. So you're eating something that doesn't have life and what does it do to you? It doesn't give you life. In fact, it, it actually makes you tired so that way it can process all of this. So that way it, it, you, it could process the food that doesn't have life. It's actually doing the opposite of what it should do. It's making you tired. Food is not supposed to make you tired. There's no reason you should be eating food and it's supposed to make you tired and sleepy. No. So we've been taught that eating food and us being tired afterwards is always just, it's just natural, man. You just think, it, no, it's not. You're supposed to be eating food that are full of life. If you want life force, okay? So eat foods that have life in them, that have vigor in them, okay? Classic has been doing this. Um, I haven't been eating um, meats processed foods or any type of um you know any any meats processed dairy none of that going on three months now and i feel great okay i feel great i feel healthy i feel vibrant man life is good okay i'm working on myself i'm getting better situations come you face it and you just rise again and do the best that you can with your life that's it that's all you can do okay so if you want aid Listen to the birds singing. Sounds beautiful, huh? I like that. Thank you. I like that. So if you want... Wow. It's my day, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So if you, want, if you want to have life and vigor, eat foods that are full of life. Okay? Yeah. Let us move to number three. You want to improve your life force, right? So you want to have number three... You want to focus on things, doing things that you love to do. Focus on habits that you love to do. Okay? And also have a social connection. Have people around you that you love to be around. Because when you have people around you that you love to be around, and when you do things that you love to do, you increase your life, your life force because you feel good. Have you ever been doing something that you love? Any type of habit? And you're so stuck into that moment. Let's say, for instance, you're an artist and you're drawing. You're so into drawing that hours go by and you just don't even realize that four or five hours have gone by. And you're like, damn. Like, time passes. You don't, you're not even thinking about time. Time passes you when you're in the moment, when you're full of life force energy, when you're expressing life force energy. Time passes. Time just passes you. You don't even realize that, oh, I just wasted a couple of hours doing this. Whatever, but I'm so into, the, into this that I just forgot. You just forgot because you're utilizing life force energy and you're in the moment, you're in the now, you're in it, you're in the flow, you're in the wise moment. Man, that is true wisdom, man. That is true wisdom right there. So, do things that you love, you know, have a social connection that you're connected with, have people that you that you can find that, that has similar um, habits and things that you love. And a lot of the times, you can find that when you travel, a lot of people have will, will realize that they have to go elsewhere and go to different environments to meet to meet people that are more like them, more like-minded. You see, but in any case, having a social connection, being a part of something that's bigger than you, increases your life force. You feel alive. For instance, when you're talking about the wise men movement, you feel like okay, it's about wisdom, it's about growth, it's about getting better, it's about expanding my consciousness, it's about just me getting better, being the best version of me, being who I am, being wise, being conscious, being me, being me fully and expressing myself and loving myself and growing and overcoming my obstacles to the best of my abilities while I'm living in captivity or living in mental slavery or living in what I consider the, the amplitude, which is the system that knocks you down every time you try to rise back up. But there we are in, the, in, in this fight with this the, the, the system there. So while you're in this fight overcoming the problems, why won't you want to increase your life force? Why do you do things that actually brings you down even more? We don't need to be brought down even more. We need to rise up. We need to rise again and be better. 
So get into the habits, bring people around you that are familiar, that are similar, that have the same kind of goals and aspirations, that wants to be more, that wants to grow, that wants to expand, bring those type of things around with you, all right? So those are the three fundamental ways to increase your life force, to feel more alive, to have more vigor, to get better, to get wiser, to stay more conscious, to just be the best version of yourself, because that's all you can be. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed this video, okay? And I hope that you just keep getting better and better and better and better. Man, these beautiful birds out here are just having a good time singing and I love it. You see, I love it. Yeah. So again, hope you enjoyed the video. For us to continue this momentum, remember, consider making a token of appreciation on the link below because it is an investment in not only you, but it is an investment in all of us because we're all out here trying to make it and help each other grow. You help everybody by making investments in things that you love because then classic expresses things that you love because it aids you. We all need to grow together and help each other. Remember that. Any type of investment matters, man. Okay, just wanted to talk about that. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you just get wiser and wiser and wiser and better for all the rest of the days of your life. Because <laughs> that's what it's about. And as always, thank you for watching.